Greetings. Today, we will talk about how to format a student paper, more specifically, a research paper. First, we will cover the basics of formatting a paper. Then, we will go over the cover page, the structure of the research paper, and the references page. Without further ado, let's start. Similarly to APA 6, APA 7 also uses the font Times New Roman and the letter size 12, which we are usually used to say Times New Roman 12. However, in addition to Times New Roman 12, APA 7 brings also the opportunity to use other fonts and letter sizes, which are Calibri 11, ARIEL 11, Computer Modern 10, and Lucida Sans Unicode 10. Pay attention, you cannot mix and match, which means you cannot use Calibri 10 or Lucida Sans Unicode 11. No, they have to be as stated, Calibri 11, ARIEL 11, Computer Modern 10, and Lucida Sans Unicode 10. However, please pay attention because most professors still prefer using Times New Roman 12. Therefore, before selecting your font and letter size, make sure that you confirm with your professor's requirements. When opening the Word document, you want to make sure that you set up the correct margins. To do so, you want to go to Layout, Margins, and select the first option, which says Normal. We want to select this option because APA 7 says that we need to have one inch throughout, and this is the correct setting. One inch from the top, one inch from the bottom, one inch from the left, and one inch from the right. According to APA, line spacing should be double. To do that, we will go back to Home, then we're going to go to the middle of the page, and here you have one feature that shows several lines and an arrow pointing up, another arrow pointing down. You do not want to select 2.0. Instead, you want to go to Line Spacing Options. Here, we want to make sure that spacing is set up correctly. Therefore, before needs to be set up to 0, after should be 0, and then Line Spacing, we want to select OK. And now we have the correct line spacing. APA requires all pages to be numbered. The number of the page must appear on the top right corner of the page. To do that, take the cursor to the upper side of the page and double click in that area. On the top left corner, you're going to see the option for page number. Select top of the page and then select the third option, which shows that the number of the page will go to the top right corner. Then select the number, go back to home and make sure that the font and the letter size are correctly set. In this case, for this paper, we're required to use Times New Roman. Therefore, Calibri is not the right. We will select Times New Roman 12. This is the correct font and size. Page number appears in the correct place. 
to get out from the header, we're going to take the cursor out from the header and again double. Now you have numbered all your pages. The first page of your document is called the title page or as some people also call it the cover page. The information that goes on the title page is going to be centered and in the middle of the page. To do that, you're going to hit enter seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When you get here, go to the center and center this line and in this first line enter the title of your paper. The title is bolded and centered. The title of the paper is entered in title cases, which means that the first letter of the word is going to be capitalized. All the rest are going to be lower cases. Exceptions are articles and prepositions. However, if the article or the preposition is the first word of your title, as in this case, it is still going to be capitalized. After entering the first line, leave a blank line. Enter your name, for example, Joe Doe. After that, hit enter and add the institutional affiliation. For example, Miami Regional University. Hit enter again and enter the course for which you are writing this paper. For example, ENC 2201, colon, and in addition to the code, you must enter the full title of that course. Example, report, writing, and research methods. Hit enter again and add the name of the professor teaching the school. In this case, it is your servant who is presenting. Hit enter again and add the deadline of this paper, not the time when you are submitting your paper, but the deadline for the paper. So let's say that your paper is due on January 25th, 2023. Pay attention, the month is not entered in digits, but it has to be written as a word. As soon as you finish that, hit enter again. This is all that you're going to have in your cover page. If we were to look at it from the distance, this is how it should look. It should be in the middle of the page and centered. To go to the next page, go to the top left corner of the page, click insert and select page break. This is going to take you to the first line of the immediate next page. The following are the sections of the research paper. These are the abstract, the introduction, the literature review, the method, results, discussion, limitations and implications, conclusion, and references. The sections of the research paper follow the rules for first level heading, which means that they're going to be bolded and centered. In the examples that follow, we're going to see how they appear in the text. 
The second page of your paper should be dedicated only and only to the abstract. Do not forget to add all the sections of the abstract, including your keywords. Even if you still have some space left on this page, leave it as is and go to page three. On page three, you're going to start with your introduction. However, do not write the word introduction. Just enter the title of your paper again and start with your introduction section. Continue with the literature review. Pay attention, you should not start on a new page, but continue on the same page. We do not leave any blank lines in between. After the literature review, enter your method. As soon as you finished your method, enter results. If your results section has subsections, those subsections follow the rules for second level heading. Therefore, the results will be first level heading while the subsection of the results becomes second level heading. If you have a visual, which could be a table, a figure, a graph, do not leave blank lines between the paragraph and your visual. Enter it immediately after. Below your visual, you must provide a title for that visual. You must first specify what type of visual, if that is a table, a figure, a chart, a graph, give it a number, colon, then enter the title of that visual. The title should be entered with italicized letters. Continue with your discussion, then continue with your limitations and implications, then add your conclusions. References are entered on a separate page. They are entered in alphabetical order based on the author's last name. References follow the rules for hanging indentation, which means that if the reference is longer than one line, beginning with the second line on, those are going to be indented by half an inch, as you can see it in this image. If you want to learn more about how to enter endless references, please watch the video on endless references. That is all for today. If you would like to continue learning, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time.